call this, um, these thoughts from Hebrews 2, chapter 2, verse 1, kind of an underlined reminder of our inner motivation, what our inner motivation needs to be as we live our lives serving God. And so here it is, Hebrews 2.1. We must pay more attention, therefore, to what we've heard so that we do not drift away. And I hope this, uh, you sense this as powerfully as it came on me. And it all ties together really well. It's kind of like woven together. The pain, the attention of what we've heard. It's, there's a real tie in there that we do not drift away. Being our response to that which we've heard and paid attention to. We must pay more attention. We must hold our mind toward. We must adhere to something. I think about adhering to something. I have been working on one of my mom's knickknacks right over here. Let me grab let me grab it. Hold on just a second. It was one of her favorite verses. Um I can't, I can't tell what it is exactly right now, what the, the verse is on there, um, because it broke into a Romans 8, 28. Um, and so this was my mom's, and it's a, you know, it's a glass knickknack. Well, I adhered it to super glue. The problem was when I laid it down, I didn't lay it. I, I knew enough not to lay it right on the workbench back here because I didn't want it to adhere to the workbench. So bright me, I'm thinking I'll put it on just a random board that I pulled out over here. And I glued it on the back side. I've glued this thing over the last four months five different ways trying to get it back together. It's a memory of my mom. And so this time I did it from the back, pretty well figuring that it wouldn't seep to the front, but it did. It adhered really well. And, and so my next step is, I'm gonna try to pry it apart without snapping it or breaking it into more pieces. <laughs> That's a project. <laughs> it's one of my projects. <laughs> But that adherence, what I'm illustrating, is the type of adhering to something, fastening in on, pay more attention to what we've heard. Um, now, heard is the Greek word akostheism, akostheism. So it's a theism idea or a... Or a uh, concept tied to hearing from God, a cue theism. It has to do with listening to or hearing from God. We need to hold our mind in and adhere to, adhere to those things we hear from God. Well, and our source for hearing from God is God's word. Hebrews 2.1 is God's word, gives and bears witness unto itself. Therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. The perimoam is the idea of drift away, be careless or carelessly pass by something. Be careless be lazy or be not tuned in. You know, it's so easy for us to tune in to so many other things and become then to the point of distracted. And when we're distracted, then we're careless. 
And this Hebrews 2.1 is a powerful reminder that we need to adhere to the word of God. Read it, apply it, execute on it. Keep prayed up about it and over it so that we don't become careless and lazy and forget that I wait upon God. He doesn't wait upon me. I mean, a lot of times we get things, the directional flow of God messed up. And I mean, it'd be the enemy that would want us to do that to be distracted and deceived and for us to become careless and let the goodness of God pass us by completely. That's what I'm thinking, Hebrews 2.1. We must pay more attention, adhere more to what we've heard so that we do not drift away. God bless.